wild violet is taking over our pastures and yard. What is the best herbicide to use to kill wild violets and not kill the grass? It is late October. Can we spray this late in the year? And this is from Miss Elizabeth Seymour, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So Miss Joella. Yes. Best herbicide to kill wild violets. Well, the grass. for one thing, you know, wild violets go away in the heat of the summer. Yes. So now they're just starting to come back out again, which is good because if she wants to get rid of them, now is the time to spray them Fall is good because time. they've got nice young foliage on them, mm -hmm. which is easier to kill. Yes. If you want to kill right. violets. Want to kill? Yeah, um, she wants to do that. Yeah, and I would say you know there's a lot of things, any kind of broadleaf killer mm -hmm. like 2,4-D. Um, and I think there's some yeah, dicamba, some dicamba one, yeah. Right. Quint uh, Corac is another one. And because yeah. they're so hard to kill, I mean, the, you're not gonna just get them all in one right. felt swoop. You're gonna have to repeat that spring as you see them come out throughout the, the winter months. Right. Because right. around here, you know, they'll grow all winter long. Sure. Um, and just maybe put some spray sticking in there, maybe a little bit of few drops of detergent mm -hmm. of some kind, mm -hmm. like a soap, a dishwashing soap. Yeah, well done or something like that. And, sure. and, yeah. and it'll stick on the leaves longer for it to really absorb and go down to the root system. All right. Because it has a waxy cuticle, mm -hmm. that's what it has. All right. But wild violets, beautiful They're flowers. They're beautiful flowers, yeah. Right. Pink, purple, yeah. Uh -huh. beautiful flowers. They are. Do you want to add something to that? I like, get on the back of the bottle, read the label. The Always. EPA has added a new, uh, box for bees. So if it's a flowering plant, there's going to be instructions on when to mm. spray and when not to spray. I'm glad you brought that up. Always read and follow the read label. Read the label. And then there's instructions there if there are bees in the area that's for right. flowering mm -hmm. plants. So that's good to know. Exactly. Miss Elizabeth. So yeah, make sure that you read and follow that label. Uh, but yes, you can spray in the fall because that chemical is moved throughout the plant into the root system as that plant gets ready for winter. Mm -hmm. So the herbicide is in the roots, so we will knock it out that way, but multiple applications. Hope you enjoyed the video. We would love to get more questions from you. So be sure to leave us some comments. 